Welcome to EDU TV with 4.5 lakh plus viewers and over 1500 educational repositories across the world. The founder is Mr. Pranav Guha Thakarada and co-founder is Ms. Tanya Sefi. Good day everyone. I am Pranav Guha Thakurta, the founder of EDU TV. And I would like to welcome our guest today for a discussion on the topic, course versus college. With us today are Dr. Manisha Sharma, an experienced educator and the principal of Venkateshwar International School, Sector 10, Dwarka, New Delhi. And Ms. Vani Bhan, the AGM Content and Global Programs at Universal Business School, Mumbai. Both of our guests bring a wealth of knowledge and experience to this important discussion and I am excited to explore their perspective on this topic. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so a very uh, good morning uh, to Dr. Manisha Sharma, who is the principal of Venkateshwar International School in Dwarka, which is one of the uh, most renowned uh, schools uh, in Delhi NCR. Uh, a very good morning, ma'am, and thank you so much for joining us good today. Good morning, morning, good morning. A very good morning to you, please. Right. And uh, all so the viewers who are watching. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, because we all know that this is the time when uh, boards are about to get over and and uh, students uh, would be uh, looking for what to do next. And this is something when um, all the stakeholders, whether it's the students, whether it's the parents, their friends, families, extended families, all the eyes are on the next big step that what I should do after my class 12. Uh, so we have come up with this topic with wherein uh, we will talk about course versus college. And um, as you are... Uh, uh, you know, you, you have such an experience um, into the education sector. So we would like to hear from you that um, uh, that what are your views on this topic, uh, course versus college? Uh, please, ma'am, your opening statements. Vani, good morning once again, everyone. I always believe do what you love and love what you do. So it's very important. I have seen my children, all these children who are, have passed out and of course going out of this hallowed portal of a school. I always insist that wherever your heart lies, first you should choose that course. So there are different, different uh, uh, altogether examples here. First of all, they should be clear that what are their career choices? What are they opting? Of course, UET is around the corner. The dates are already there. And they have to find, do a very, very wise decisions that what do they want in life? And you see some of them are very clear that this is the course they want to do. They want to do computer engineering or mechanical engineer or they want to pursue medicine or they want to go for a uh, counselor or uh, they want to do English honors or journalism. So they have varied interest. But what I say is that whenever you're writing any competitive examination or anything, wherever you take any subject, even the same thing I tell my class 11 students also who have also the same dilemma and the same problem. But you know, in our Indian system, more than the child, there's so many other social pressures which take a lot of importance that should not be there, number one. What the child is looking for, what the child wants, what is his career, what is his aspiration? Maybe the child is not good in uh, literature, but the parents is insisting, no, she should do only the English honors because it is very good for girls. So what I believe in that, very strongly believe in, uh, it is not the college, it is the course, which is very, very important because there that child can outrank even in those children who are studying in the very prestigious and reputed colleges. So it is very important because then whatever you do, you enjoy that. Otherwise, it is just like a class of French and German where you don't understand and every passing moment will be a very, 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 very burdensome. I'll share with you a very interesting case of one of my students who is a very, very uh, talented filmmaker. He uh, sought admission in a very reputed college because parents wanted their child to pursue uh, computer engineering. And his heart was not there in computer engineering at all. Somehow, in seven years, he completed his engineering course. But what was there? And then what did he do? It is so remarkable for SRFTI from Satyajit Ray Film Academy. He did his uh, post-graduation diploma in direction and in editing. And now he's a very well-known director and his a lot of films won, short films won in so many festivals, film festivals. So what my point is this? And now he enjoys there. The same child 
who was so long under the spell of de depression in such a low phase, all right? And such child we see blooming. So what is so important? It is important to keep focus our child, what his interest has, and accordingly we should guide. But in some cases, I'll tell you at the same time, because I'm answering all the questions here, right, right. that there is a group of children who are not very clear what they want to do. Still, they're confused. Still, they, I mean, they are just whether to do this thing or that thing. So somehow if they're getting similar kind of course in the best college, it is, of course, they can join the college. So you see, it depends on how clear in your mind, your thought process, what you want to do. And of course, you should always follow your hearts because when you follow your heart, your head, mit, head will ultimately follow you. That is there. Right. In fact, exactly. ma'am, I was about to ask the same, the, the next question that what about uh, when students are not aware that what their passion is or what their aspirations are? Uh, so in that case, as a school principal, ma'am, what do you suggest? Do you su suggest uh, that? Uh, what we do here, yeah. Uh, yeah. what we do here, Vani, the people like you who are very good and they are well-known representing such a well-known university, we call them orient them, make them aware. So there is a continuous process. It is not like this one day wonder, but it is a continuous process where children are oriented and more so their parents are oriented. For anything, it is very important to orient first their parents that their child is not meant for this. Maybe their actual sciences and there's so many other things are there where the children can really excel, where children can really do well. Everybody uh, does not need to go only for IITs or for NEET examination. There are so many career choices are there, which can somewhere they can align with their child's uh, perspective and mindset and passion. And then they can really follow that path. So it is very important that we should have very structured orientation programs throughout the year in a school respectively. And so also for uh, parents also. In my school, what we do uh, in class 10th only, we do psychometric tests, of course, one-to-one uh, -one counseling also. The card is prepared for the child and the group counseling also. And then the counseling, very individual counseling of parents also. It is very, very important to counsel parents because sometimes some children are very timid. They cannot express. They are not so outspoken. They cannot express. They, do, they are also not very clear what to do it. So it is very important that we really uh, contribute for uh, and tell them and do such kind of programs in the school to give to help the child because it is all the hand holding the child, making them aware, making them alert as much as we can do it. Secondly, we can also uh, create a program or curate a program for their internship. That is very, right. very important. I want to become a uh, dental, uh, also a dentist, but I hate all right, something which I don't like it. So once you visit there, you have uh, 10 days, 15 days uh, working uh, uh, schedule there with any hospital or if you want to become a CA or if you want to become a counselor, please do join some internship program. These internship programs are very, very good. At least it gives you a very hands-on experience, a sense of realization. Oh, this is what aligned with my uh, uh, nature. This is what I can work in tandem with my passion and thought. That is very, very important. So structured program, awareness program, internship, that is very, very important. How are we program, uh, I mean, allowing children to expose themselves? Like we also sent our children to boot uh, camp there in bits planning right. so, or IITs or anywhere, any hospital. I, I mean, encourage a lot of internship program to make children aware because they should have the clarity. If we say film, of photography, it is not something which we should, I mean, shudder. Earlier, if you just say filmmaking or something, oh no, it is not meant for only engineering. But there's so many courses are there and children who have the artistic streak, they have such passion. They should have awareness also, whether it comes to fashion designing, even veterinary doctors or anything, life coach. I mean, there's so many things are there on the platter that should really, I mean, there is a room for every child on this planet. It is we need to guide as far as possible. That is there. They're just 15, 16, 17 year old children after all. And they do not have sometimes a sense of clarity. Uh, it is very important and pertinent on the path of parents and school to be the perfect partners to guide our children. 
so true ma'am as you rightly said that uh, uh, there is a room for everybody and we should also know that all individuals are different maybe what you will like i will not like or your aspirations i'm sure will be different from my aspirations Absolutely. and here we are talking about so many students and 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 uh, that's why i think uh, bringing um, all the communities together is very important because very the important. more awareness we will give uh, to the students uh, then at least they will know that oh these are the 10 options i can look at and then they can uh, brainstorm and see what is best for them uh, so rightly and and you also mentioned about internship so even at our college um, i'm at universal business school what we do uh, we have management programs so at yes. the first year uh, it is common but because in the second year students have to choose what specialization they have to do so what we do we uh, we do an internship program during the summer so that if in case somebody is looking for marketing then we send them to any company where they uh, pick up a profile of marketing or a finance or hr and based on uh, their interest uh, they would know S uh, similarly after the second year they can look at any other specialization so that by the time they're graduating from the third year they know that what career uh, or what kind of a corporate life they would want to expect because every stream uh, every profile is different and nowadays uh, uh, you know every company have different domains and different uh, uh, profiles who welcome students from all the uh, all the backgrounds uh, so as 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 you rightly mentioned about about internships uh, i think we can sorry, even just, uh, yeah. sorry i would like to add this people right. often say no it is all around development the kind of atmosphere and everything opportunities you are going to uh, find if there is a very i mean a uh, grade a or so well known on purpose i'm not naming any college right. i mean if you seek admission there but what about if your passion if you're not doing if you're not getting any grade if your heart is not there despite i mean being very holistic approach or you're getting a lot of exposure but if you're not doing well what you want to do aspire to do so it's very uh, important that first you choose exactly what you want to do and decide the course over college right. and of course when if you're confused then you take any college wherever you want to seek admission and third choice if you have choice then you of course will take college then right. and course both that is there right uh, absolutely ma'am in fact you know uh, we always say that uh, uh, i i think you know people look at iq but more than iq i think people should at hq which is happiness uh, you yes. know uh, i mean because if i am happy in something i can excel whether it's cooking or a, or a management degree or a or a veterinary degree or anything else um, and and then i can excel in any atmosphere or any college uh, for for that matter yes yes right, right every single day is a crisis a problem a, a suffering for mental trauma for the child if he or she is not enjoying that day and if he is not getting even grades if he is detained if he is repeating so you see the journey goes on and on and on so it is better always to follow your passion whether conventional unconventional whatever you like so true ma'am so true ma'am uh, thank you so much for giving your uh, views on that so ma'am what kind of careers do you see that uh, students are opting in nowadays or it's the traditional uh, careers which were engineering doctorate uh, as as so to say so one a lot of children they are now uh, also going for ai artificial intelligence they are very keen hospitality also i never used to believe that the children who has opted a science students has opted home science now mm -hmm. he is going for hotel management that is very very good uh, clinical psychology actuarial sciences so many i mean armed forces defense pilot these are the courses which are coming because uh, now and after i'm doing undergraduate one of my students who has clear qatar airways um, this program so he i'm very happy for him and i'm mentioning him by because ultimately whatever children want to do they are able to do it but of course they uh, need to uh, be aware of many more uh, avenues which i have mentioned few of them and of course i know that you can share many more avenues are there mm -hmm. that is astrophysics is there so many i mean upcoming fields are there which we have never thought of that also and uh, children are very interested now to become counselors going into clinical going into i mean biotechnology microbiology doing research these are some of the things are there except uh, barring these neat or um, je examination of engineering and medical there are a whole lot of things uh, there a lot of fields are there and i'm sure that those who are interested in teaching and those who are in uh, teaching in, uh, i mean interested in uh, so many research they can join any research institute wherever but of course right kind of information should be available via uh, people like you who are from the respective fields that is there 
right uh, thank you so much so ma'am what would be your uh, advice for students to uh, you know for as a next step i mean how they should prepare to enter their uh, kind of college i mean so if we know that this is a course we have to do so then mm -hmm. how should they prepare to enter the right uh, college after selecting the right course any tips i think uh, they should do the minute research minute test research the micro level research is very very important whatever they want to do what kind of universities are there what facilities are there whether the scholarships are available or not there so these are the things what will be the expenditure what is the budget whether they can move out of their city whether those facilities are available in the city which will be really make them i mean do devote more time whatever they want to pursue so these are some of the things which should be done by the student before thinking of whatever he wants to do because he or children have to prepare for the same there may be some competitive exam some of the i mean why i see you it only common uh, entrance uh, examination also some uh, most of the courses are available apart from that there are some universities they are also offering uh, on the basis of your cuet courses uh, sorry cuet percentage so that is there they need to prepare whatever they want to do all the information preparation study minutely that is there but i do not say that uh, before class 12th you are taking so much stress that the whole life becomes so much stressful even before you enter your college so it is very important for them to do their uh, research well and prepare themselves well stay focused what they want to achieve it and sooner or later they will get it that is there right uh, thank you so much ma'am for uh, covering all the critical aspects which uh, uh, students uh, should really focus on right now uh, and of course uh, one minute uh, yes, it is also important the employability that right. is very placement that is a very important factor because they know maybe this time they are doing maybe after 5 years by the time they finish there will be a recession and those will not be there so it is upgradation is very important to upgrade themselves to how to uh, bring um, uh, value addition to whatever they are doing is also very important of course suppose for example if i am saying teaching but teaching also requires nowadays lot of skills right which were not earlier now today's teachers should be very well versed in uh, student psychology and it skills innovation that are all there right, right. so i was about to ma'am mention that uh, uh, that you know that for example covid came and nobody knew so with the changing environment i think it's really important for uh, colleges to really focus on the skill development and the overall holistic de development because if somebody has the right kind of skill set they can excel in any industry because we don't know what will happen after four years five years once they graduate yes. so if they have the right kind of skill sets the right kind of knowledge um, and uh, and we for example teach by experiential learning uh, because if you have if you're doing something and practice uh, practicing something without uh, out of the books uh, then that learning will always be there for you and then you can use that logically in any industry you choose and you go further continuous learning is very important for each and every individual who wants to reach high wants to really do well in one's life the key is hard work and continuously relearning unlearning that is very very important Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing your valuable um, uh, suggestions and feedbacks. And I'm sure any student who will be looking and hearing this video, they will really uh, get to know a lot about what to do next. And and also, it's a must-watch for parents uh, of all the students of 11th and 12th, so that they know that this is what they should focus on. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for uh, for taking so out much. time today. I also say, Vani, yes, it's very important to make castles in the air. Of course, we should uh, make uh, dreams. but while following our dreams how much efforts how much efforts how many hours we are devoting to that that is also very important organized methodical disciplined hours to achieve and realize our dreams that is very very important and everybody can realize however you have been labeled i'm telling all children because some children feel very low and they have low self esteem no every child has immense potential they have their destiny in their hands that is it so true ma'am i think uh, i'm sure you know i mean uh, so much so many activities which you are doing in your school to make sure that uh, every student knows that this is what my potential is uh, so i think this is our advice for all the schools that they, they should also uh, give individual attention to every student and uh, and and guide them and and counsel them uh, the way uh, venkateshwar international school is doing uh, thank you so much ma'am for doing so much thank for the, for the future generation <laughs> thank you thank you ma'am thank you so much
Welcome to EDU TV with 4.5 lakh plus viewers and over 1500 educational repositories across the world. The founder is Mr. Pranav Guha Fakarada and co-founder is Ms. Tanya Sefi.